Um, so anyway, I went to this store, this juice shop, got some organic juice, and they were selling CBD in there. So that's easy. I can beat any CBD company out there, so that's easy to do. Uh, I was looking at the labels and everything and I could barely read it. It wasn't even legible and we're in California Right. Well, I'm in California right now. Josh is actually in Vegas, but um, I Saw on the menu all their smoothies said plus CBD three dollars like they're adding CBD to their their juices and stuff so I thought that was interesting and I also thought I'm gonna get them to sell hemp works <laughs> because I can't let this go on. I can't let them have this not in, no information on what they're actually doing to people. <laughs> they're giving them crappy CBD. So I had to tell them, you know? So this is my opening statement that I said to them when I walked in. First, I just asked for my juice, just keep it cool. I wasn't there to sell CBD. I was there actually to just get a juice. And uh, I said, what kind of CBD do you guys use? And she's like, oh, it's the brand. I don't even, I've never even heard of this brand. Um, and I don't even remember. That's how forgettable it was. <laughs> but uh, she said, we're using this brand over here. She's like, I think it's from Europe or she's, she didn't really know much. And I'm like, okay. So I went over and I read it, you know, the labels and stuff like that. Lots of ingredients. And I, I just asked her straight up, I said, would you be interested in, in having a compliant brand of CBD in your shop? <laughs> compliant. Because their labels were not compliant. You couldn't even read them. They weren't legible. There was no FDA disclaimer. The ingredients were... Couldn't read them. Don't even know if they were listed. It looks like somebody printed it at home on their computer. Like, basically. And I'm not knocking anyone that starts their business that way. That's great. However, if you're in a retail store, you better have you better have it together. So I asked her, um, are you interested in having a compliant brand in your juice shop? And she said, what do you mean compliant? And I'm like, well, and I pointed out all these things about the labels and the product and how that is risky as a store owner to have a brand like that in on their shelves. I said, if law enforcement came in here and I'm being honest because this is California if law enforcement came in here and saw this you guys your products would be raided <laughs> it's just flat out um, I I can't say that they wouldn't take all these products off the shelves because you can't give these to the public like this it's illegal and I'm not like a lawyer or anything but you can't have products on a shelf that you can't read what's in it I know that much so um, I mean, for us, the labeling that we go through, we have to have a certain type font, you know, we have to have the whole nine. It's a, it's a process. And we even have to evolve our labels over time as the new regulations change. So I explained to her that we don't source our CBD from Europe. We actually grow it locally in Kentucky on Kentucky farms. And um, so you'd be supporting a US-based company. I also said, uh, our office is in Las Vegas, which is not far from here, only three hours, right? And uh, if they wanted to be a part of the wholesale program, we could ship them product directly to their store so that they could hold it in their, uh, you know, on the shelves and use it in their beverages. I also let them know that we just entered the beverage line and just came out with CBD coffee and we could... Um, help them get those products in there as well because since they are it's organic coffee they could add a whole new product line to their to their store so she was pretty interested about that and I said now the difference between our brand and what you have here and every other brand that I've seen out there is basically you don't really know what's in that bottle because for one you can't read it but for two let's say you could read it the regulation on CBD right now is almost non-existent. They haven't even figured out what they want to do with CBD. We have people that are buying their CBD, or not people, but companies buying from China, and they're, we test these products all the time. We test our competitors just to see if there are competitors. There's not. Um, but we'll test them, and we'll see that 
CBD from China and all these other countries where they're outsourcing is heavily diluted. It has drywall and wax and fillers and all kinds of crazy stuff that would never be allowed if it were any other product. So the problem with CBD right now is that it's not heavily regulated yet. You literally don't know what you're getting. And I said the difference, what we do is we provide all of our documentation right on our website. So you can see the label. We don't hide our ingredients. There's three ingredients, that's it. The CBD, the active CBD, 500, 700 milligrams, hemp seed oil, because we believe that the carrier oil should be part of the hemp plant. We don't believe in putting it into random other stuff that it doesn't belong with. Um, and then we have either peppermint or cinnamon or natural, right? And that's it. So, um, we provide all third party testing. We provide a mold toxicity report because if you've seen your grandparents grow cannabis in the seventies, what do they do after they harvest it? They hang it up to dry, right? Well, unfortunately hanging up your plants, okay, can create mold. And then when you're extracting that plant after it has mold, you're getting mold in your CBD. Um, so the difference is what we do is we provide mold and toxicity reporting. We also have technology that nobody else has in the US, which is a fresh lock drying system. So from harvest to when the product is sealed takes four minutes. We vacuum seal our plants immediately after harvest so that it stays fresh, so that we can store it, so that we can use it whenever we need without it going bad, basically. Okay, nobody else is really doing that. We have state-of-the-art facilities. Our facilities are FDA compliant. <laughs> so that's amazing. Um, also, we're on the Farm Bill Act. Our farm is on the Farm Bill Act, 2014, soon to be 18 through the research pilot program through the University of Kentucky. We're doing research, we're doing the clinicals and all this stuff on the product that we're making on our genetics. I don't know anyone else that's doing that. I don't know anyone else that's involved. Uh, we partnered with the hemp, US Hemp Roundtable. So we're actually helping legislation evolve and they're undefeated in every state that they've pushed legislation on. So. California for sure you should be partnering with uh, hemp works because there does need to be some legislation changes here when you're buying hemp works you're automatically supporting that movement even if you don't donate since we are donating <laughs> our profits the owners are donating our profits and soon it's going to be available so that our affiliates and customers can also donate you're partnering for a good cause you know the reason I wear Tom's shoes is because Tom's shoes provides shoes to people that uh, don't have any right so it's for a good cause I'm buying a pair of shoes but they're also donating so also that right um, we have a certificate of analysis on our products we also have um, all third-party testing so we show you exactly what's in there we have nothing to hide and nobody else is doing that right so I don't know. I wouldn't trust putting any other brand out there on your shelves. I mean, you don't really know what you're getting. At least we disclose everything that we're doing. We have nothing to hide. So um, that was basically what I said to her. <laughs> and she was like, wow. And I said, now normally we don't do retail. We're very much just consumer direct. So for those of you who are afraid to say it's network marketing, I never mentioned that. For those of you who are afraid of MLM, I didn't say that. All I said was, and I said I was the owner. However, you guys can say I've partnered with the number one cannabis company in America. That's how I sorted it out. I said I own the largest company. But you can say I've partnered with the largest cannabis company in America. And we do all consumer direct. So you can buy online and get your shipments online. The facility is in Las Vegas. And um, we have our own little Amazon there, right? So that's how the buying uh, trend is going anyway. But we can get you product so that you can actually physically have it on your shelf. And she was like, wow, like, I definitely wanna to talk to you. Do you have your card? Of course I had my card available. So I'm gonna set up a meeting with her. And this is just out of the blue cause I just, I wanted some juice. That's it. I mean, you guys can do this anytime, anywhere. Um, I, I get lots of opportunities like this because the trend is so hot that literally it's everywhere and everybody is talking about CBD. So 
you want to know how to represent your brand, that's what you tell them. You tell them about why we're different, why our farms are different, why we're, our partnerships and our affiliations are different, why um, <laughs> basically uh, everything about our product and our business model is different. I didn't even mention the the affiliate side. I didn't even mention that she could create residual income for her store because I didn't want to talk her ear off. But had that conversation gone longer, I would have said, now there's also an income uh, potential here for you to not only profit $20, $30 on the bottle itself because her bottles that she was selling were actually more expensive. They were $100 and it looked like it was um, for 500 milligrams. You know, and that's typical. You'll see that retail-wise, Hempworks products are very, very competitive because we give them a discount when they buy in bulk. And then, of course, there's a comp plan attached to it. So most retail stores, they don't. The only residual income they have is if those people come back through the door. That's it. That's the residual income is loyal customers. If you can give them a product that hooks people and creates residual income, you can help them pay for their whole store overhead from one product line. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys.